Good day and welcome to Custom Crafting Adventure. My name is Derek, uh, and welcome to this episode about um, the um, the use of the correct gas struts uh, for the right application. And uh, I might also talk about uh, the the angle of gas struts uh, uh, to make your application work. So in the past few weeks, um, we've been very very busy, and it's actually quite annoying as well because. Um, we are at the stage to try to make things work. Right, in this episode, I'm going to share with you my personal experience of finding the right gas strut, uh, both the strength of the gas strut as well as uh, the angle of gas strut placement. Um, so, in my application, um, we're trying to lift the canopy roof in a way that we both find useful and spacious. And originally the, the, the roof pops up this way, so the rear end has most space. And uh, the reason was, when you sort of walk up into the canopy, you could stand up. And I'm, I'm about 1.8 meters tall, so I could stand up this way. However, when I entered the sleeping compartment, it was very claustrophobic. Um, so it didn't quite work, plus uh, that side wasn't really a hinge. Uh, to make this work, the hinge needs to be very very strong because that becomes a, a very um, a, an important attachment point together with the, the two gas struts on the side. Because of that, we, uh, we change our plan. Uh, and now we think perhaps we're going to lift off the whole canopy uh, vertically, both front and rear. So we have enough space in the rear and also enough space in the front. To make this happen, we have to actually test on, uh, because we're not sure, we're going to test on the struts that we have to see if it is actually strong enough to do so. Uh, we've been thinking through this a lot. Uh, in order to fit in gas struts both front and rear, the most suitable uh, way to put gas strut is to fit in a uni strut like so. This is a channel essentially allowing you to put channel nuts inside uh, and then you can essentially put gas struts in everywhere along this row. Um, so we have two gas struts in the front, two gas struts in the rear and also two gas struts in the middle of the canopy. What we are going to do now is to, uh, uh, well, we still have a couple of, actually four gas struts to be removed back from inside. So we're going to, to, to pop up the roof and let you see what uh, the previous setup was. And uh, we'll just um, remove the gas struts uh, and then we'll use the gas strut to test the strength of the gas strut on the, ins uh, on the outside. Um, we'll, we'll let you have a look anyway. Alright, as you guys might have seen earlier, uh, <laughs> the fitting failed. Uh, we, we didn't quite think through the forces um, 
of the gas ruts. Uh, so yeah, the scenario is, to, is quite different. If you're going to just lift one side, very easy because one side will be permanently mounted. Uh, all you need is a side forces. So you need a couple of gas ruts that is strong enough to lift the rear. But in our case, we have to lift the whole thing up, uh, both front and rear. You have to have balanced forces. Uh, any net force, obviously that's where the, um, the forces will go to. If there is a gas strut pushing this direction, there must be another gas strut of identical strength pushing this direction. The right correct angle as well. Uh, so our plan is, have two in the front, two in the rear, sort of both pushing uh, on an angle. Same direction. Same direction? Same direction. Right, cut, yeah. <laughs> so our plan is, uh, it has been such a pain, pain in the back side. Um, we, we, we've, we've got some more gas struts to fit in the middle. So we're going to put the middle struts first. So it's got a bit of, it's got a bit of strength to lift off uh, the whole canopy. I mean, the whole, whole roof. Uh, and then we'll, we'll do the front, uh, and after that we'll lock the front and do the rear. Uh, after all the struts are done, that, that will be the testing time. So we'll see if the whole thing, uh, uh, well let's say we, we lift the, the rear first, and then uh, we undo the front latches, uh, we'll see if the whole thing actually balances stably. Alright? Alright guys, uh, that's basically the end of this episode, but I want to take an opportunity to, uh, to tell you my reflection, my, my thought about this, uh, this build. Um, originally I did not really want to go for the simple um, hinge front and you pop the rear setup. Uh, that setup usually is very simple. You, you've got to have a couple of gas struts that are strong enough, uh, usually on the side, either outside or inside, and that basically just could be enough to pop the, um, the roof uh, from the rear. Whereas the uh, front will just stay on, uh, hold it by a really strong hinge. Um, that way it will be valid, it's the simplest way. Um, but I didn't. I, well, because I just didn't like the idea of uh, having, well, this side will have lots of space, uh, but the hinge side will have no space, wouldn't it? So you kind of, uh, you've got lots of space in here, but the space is unusable, you, uh, and the hinge side's got no space at all. So uh, I'm not quite sure about that setup, but it looks like uh, it is the most common setup. And I guess I know why. Uh, the reason is uh, this is easiest to manufacture uh, because all you need is a couple of really, really strong gas struts. Uh, the gas struts with really high Newton, um, high Newton force to support 
the two sides, and, and that way it saves money. It saves it is easiest to manufacture, and the material is cheapest. Uh, you only need a couple of gas trucks. Um, but I just found that you you don't really have the usable space, and uh, that's that's the the the, uh, the most most common rooftop tent you've seen around uh, Australia nowadays. In my mind, I started off the two gas trucks in the rear and then I tried to put another two gas trucks somewhere in the front but I failed. Uh, and I guess a technical message to everyone, the all audience and subscribers, is that you've got to think about the balanced force. Uh, and while I wish I was better in, um, in, in high school physics, especially in mechanics, uh, if I was better, I could have thought about this and now I can't believe I'm actually using uh, <laughs> some high school physics. That's a Newton third law of mechanics. Uh, the thing is stationary if you have force balance out. Uh, if you have any net force, the item will just go to, the, to, the, to that direction of the force. Uh, so that's actually what's happening. Um, <clears throat> So I failed because the, the force wasn't balanced. So all I was trying to say is that if you uh, have your have your hard shell rooftop tent roof pop up this way, all you need is a couple of gas trucks, uh, strong enough, apply force in this direction, and then the opposite side, you've got some hinges to uh, to cancel out the forces. Uh, from the gas trucks and obviously it can easily be worked. But on the contrary, uh, if you want to lift the roof vertically instead of going up one side, uh, you really have to be very serious about your forces. Uh, you've got to have some gas trucks pointing um, in, in whichever direction that cancels the whole thing out and the, uh, the amount of force needs to be very precise and they need to be the same front and both front and rear and that way the roof will be able to pop up and yeah by the way I've, I've already painted the canopy uh, in this camo pattern uh, and I really like it I'll, I'll show you in a second and I'll obviously show you what I meant by balanced force so check out this camouflage pattern um, all I used was three colors. Um, so basically I used three different, or actually four different colors of the camouflage and I've used a bit of reeds uh, from my, or, or long grass from, from my garden uh, because they are, they're full of them in my garden uh, and I spray on top of it. Now, um, so what I'm saying is at the moment the whole thing balanced and it's, it's the most stable uh, way I've lifted the roof for many many years now so you can, can you, you, can, you can see uh, the ones in the rear and the ones in the front they're pointing out this direction all right so that's actually stopping uh, applying a force uh, towards the side if you know what I mean towards this side this angle and that needs to be counteracted if you know what I mean so you see a couple of uh, two pairs of gas truck in the middle uh, one pair of them is pointing in and in this case, it's strong enough to balance that uh, sideway force. A little bit technical, uh, but guess what? On the side, you need the same thing too. So you've got this strut pointing out, uh, exerting a force this direction. And you have to have another strut that points this way, exerting the uh, same Newton force, so that the, the, the roof doesn't go this way. Um, so now, you've got force on the side, on two sides, and force from two ends, front and rear, and you, you kind of have some force um, diagonally too. So now, this is very stable. But I, I've got to confess, this setup is not tall enough. We have to unfortunately spend more money to get more gas struts. Hopefully the store is, a, is, is happy to, to, um, to swap the uh, some struts with us, so it doesn't. We, we, we don't have to spend that much. Um, but essentially, when when I enter the canopy, I had to punch my back, and my wife just barely hit the head. So it's not good. Um, 
we we I guess we want the roof to pop at least one meter. And to pop one meter, I've done a calculation. I need a 1.2 meters gestra, uh, and unfortunately, I do need around eight of them. Replace all of them. Uh, yes, I know. It seems a bit silly. If you can only spend a couple of uh, uh, spend money on a couple of guest trucks to make that happen, why not? But uh, I, I just have confidence with this with this current setup at the moment. Now, guys, if you enjoy this episode, uh, feel free to subscribe my channel uh, and make sure you you know press the like and notification button, uh, and that way you'll help me uh, to build up this channel a lot. Uh, and I hope you have picked up a few points from my build. Uh, this is a very long build. It is already the fourth month that I spent in my shed uh, working on this. And keep in mind, I'm actually working on my full-time job at the moment. So um, it is a little bit difficult, but I will, uh, hopefully I will finish this very, very soon. All right. Stay safe, everyone, and uh, have a good day. Enjoy.